As you may see, this movement is in pretty poor condition. It's an old pocket watch movement, not regularly serviced, and the plates are stained with corrosion. And I suppose even when it did require repairs, the previous owner may not have invested much to have it done properly. That being said, when the watch became a complete non-runner, it ended up on my workbench. In a previous video, I detailed how I replaced a rub-in jewel uh, due to that jewel being completely broken. But that was not the end of the story. After cleaning and lubrication, the movement was placed on the watch timing machine for adjustment and some quite alarming readings were noticed. As you can observe, the watch was gaining at a rate of over 500 seconds per day. The amplitude was weighed down at around 150 degrees and the beat error was considerable at around 4.5 milliseconds. And clearly there was something wrong. As I had already been working in the area of the balance beforehand whilst replacing the balance jewel, I decided to start there and could not find anything obviously wrong to start with. I decided to make sure that the balance hairspring was lining up properly as I noticed that the curve was not perfect so I removed the balance hairspring from the wheel as this allows me to work easier. The collet was secured quite well but I was able to remove it well enough with my hand levers. However, upon turning the hairspring over, you can imagine my surprise when I see some dried superglue covering some of the inner coils of the hairspring. What it looks like is that a previous person working with the movement could not get the collet of the hairspring to fit tight enough on the balance staff, and rather than tighten the collet like so many watch repairers would do, they decided on a bizarre alternative and superglued the collet to the staff. The glue, however, spread out to some of the coils of the hairspring before drying solid. A perfect result in that the collet was indeed secured to the staff, uh, but in doing so caused another problem where the effective shape and length of the hairspring was altered to the point that it affected the timekeeping of the watch in such a drastic manner. And soaking the hairspring in acetone would have loosed the glue I suppose, um, but I thought I would take a quick stab at picking it away first and luckily it did not take much for it to peel away. Now I had to tighten the collet and there wasn't really much to play with in terms of squeezing the gap closer so I decided to use a hole closing punch in my staking set to nip it slightly tighter. It didn't take much and the collet was now tight enough to not move but not so tight that it would not easily be shifted to adjust its position. Now I can test the hairspring collet, rest dead centre of the balance staff pivot holes and I'm ready to assemble.
Incidentally, I found these two bits of brass glued to the balance rim as well. I removed them. Now, back to the timing machine, and you can see a remarkable difference. The amplitude is now a healthy 240 degrees. The rate and the beat are now very workable. Although, it must be pointed out that this watch was in for a repair, a clean and lubrication, and not really a full restoration. But, with some more slight adjustments, this watch will be a good timekeeper despite its poor condition, and will certainly give plenty more years of service to the owner. Have you ever wanted to know more about what makes a watch tick? Perhaps you're a watch collector or enthusiast, or perhaps you're thinking of making a career out of watch repair. I have built a watch repair course to make available the skills and techniques I have acquired over the years in a modern and exciting way. Full HD video streamed directly to your computer, cell phone or tablet. And once you have enrolled, you will have access to all the course video lessons, transcripts and will be able to learn completely at your own pace. At the end of the course, you will complete an assessment and if you achieve a passing grade, you will be presented with a certificate of completion which you can download and keep. Take a look at the watch repair course levels 1 and 2 which are now available on the watch repair lessons website. A link is in the description of this video.